up guys just wanted to do a uh, quick re one year long term review on my Ford F-150 I guess not long term but it is one year later after driving the hell out of this truck towing with it uh, pulling my heavy trailer yeah so it pulls my vibe and it has one slide out this thing fully loaded weighs I'm probably hauling I would say 8,000 pounds uh, usually I run it pretty full because we take a bunch of kids with us my kids friends and then on top that's in the trailer okay and then I fill up the fresh water tank and then I also load up the back of the truck with all our bikes skateboards clothes food all kinds of stuff and uh yeah this truck can pull like there's no tomorrow it's also really quick when i take this thing down the street you know punching it dude this thing moves it's got the 3.5 eco boost and uh i try to keep it really clean change the oil actually when i change the oil i uh drain and refill and then run it around the block for about a mile and a half and then drain and refill again and uh this way i know for sure it's got 100 percent clean oil and uh you know i just want to take care of it i paid a lot of money for this truck it was actually my father's day present i was done paying my child support and uh basically the money from that for the most part covers my truck payment but yeah this truck is awesome dude if you guys are in the market for a Dodge Ford Chevy Titan I mean they're all nice trucks I personally would never thought that I would I never thought that I would be buying a Ford I'm not a Ford I don't even really I like Dodge to be honest with you Dodge was gonna be it and uh, but the only reason why I got the f-150 was because when I was doing my research and you uh, look at the uh, crash test ratings on all the full-size trucks the Ford is the only one that has five stars the f-150 okay this truck if you get in a front end side impact rear end you're you're walking out okay according to all their their data all their testing and uh the uh dodge oh my god when you look at the dodge it was just horrible it was you know basically your legs were going to be trapped and they were going to have to go in there and cut out you know part of the the center console not the center console but the dash and it all came caving in on the on the dummy and after i saw that i was like dude no way man i got kids you know i got my wife you know plus not only that you know i'm you know I gotta work and I, I ain't got time to be sitting in some hospital all busted up and nor do I want to be uh, and then Chevrolet did okay not as good as the Ford so I thought man Ford you know I used to make fun of my brother for buying Ford but uh, after I went and I checked it out I was like oh my god this truck is amazing I wasn't even gonna look at the platinum edition I, I didn't even know they had a platinum I was just checking out their their vehicles and um their trucks i was looking at the xlt and then the lariat but then when i saw the sunroof i had to have it dude i was like you know what man i've never really bought myself anything extremely nice before and uh i just really dug i dug it but this thing has everything it has the lane departure assist which it really all it does when you're driving it detects the the right lane uh the uh, the lines that are marked on the road and then what happens is when you start to veer off uh what it'll do is the, the steering wheel kind of stiffens up uh to kind of alert you but that that's all it does it doesn't actually it kind of corrects it a little bit but after the fact so you could easily drift into the next lane it doesn't really do much and as soon as it feels you give you know a little bit of force on the steering wheel it it disengages uh, it parks itself, which doesn't always do that, you know, the way it's supposed to. If you're too close to the curb and the other cars, it's going to bump into the curb as you're backing up. Uh, so you got to be kind of further away from the vehicles as you're traveling, traveling down. You got to be 
out a little bit further and then it'll it'll park in pretty decently uh, the other thing is it has the adaptive cruise control which is pretty cool but it it's not in my opinion I don't think it's you don't want to rely on this thing uh, because what happens is you can set the distance between you and the other cars okay so if you want to be more aggressive you can be really close now if you just want to like chill and you don't want this thing stopping at the last second you could be about a hundred feet uh, of hundred, you could keep a hundred foot distance between you and the car in front of you. But what happens is, when the car stops in front of you and the it's slowing down, yeah, it, it detects it. The only problem is, is that if the car in front of the car in front of you starts to slow down, and that car is going to stop at the last second, what happens is your truck obviously is not going to detect that. Now you see it happening. Your truck doesn't see it happening. And then when that car slams his brakes on, then what happens to you is your truck is actually stopping at the last second because when that car in front of you starts to slow down at the last second it takes about another full second to a second and a half before your truck notices and starts to slow down and then the other thing is if you're on the freeway and you're on a bend okay and the cars are slowing down it doesn't detect it it just doesn't it doesn't read that you're on a bend it just sees what's right in front of it so it's kind of you know kind of shady to be honest with you and uh Gas mileage wise, it's pretty good. Towing that big old trailer and fully loaded and we have like five people in here, it gets me about 10, 10 and a half. Uh, now traveling around town, uh, you could see right there is 12, but I've been like hauling ass, okay? I'm like, you know, just jamming on this thing like there's no tomorrow. Cause it, it does get up and go, I'll show you right now. First, you wanna take traction control off. Then you wanna put it in sport mode and uh and then you want to punch it it usually does zero to 16 about i would say in about six and a half seconds yeah so it's pretty cool it's also very comfortable i had to take this thing on a long-term drive uh to go to texas pick up my son and uh Dude, this thing, I mean, it's got air-conditioned seats, heated seats, massaging seats. Dude, this thing, you're just, you can just sit in this seat all day. Uh, it's got three different settings down here. I don't know if you can see because of the sun. But it's got, like, one for me, one for my wife, and then the third one is if I just totally want to chill out and, like, you know, sit back and ride gangster style. But, uh... No, nah, I mean, this truck is is great. If you're thinking about getting a Ford, Chevy, I think they're all nice. But personally, dude, I, I, I'm a I'm a believer. I, I drink the Kool-Aid. I think Ford is amazing. And uh, I haven't had any issues with this truck. This truck has been great. Uh, been pulling hard with it. And uh, you know what? As a matter of fact, though, I did have this one issue, okay? So it was the middle of summer. And uh, it was about 114 degrees outside. I was pulling that trailer. We were going up a big old incline. It was really steep. And there was this guy in a tundra. And uh, I was like, okay, I'm gonna show this guy what's up. He was pulling a trailer too. So I punched it and I'm going up this long incline. I'm passing him up. I'm, I pass him up and I'm still hauling. Dude. I'm probably going about 70 miles an hour. Now nah, maybe 65, okay? We were probably doing about 40, 45. And then, uh, I'm doing about 60 now and I started to notice that the uh, temperature gauge on the console right there, it's always below the half. But what happened was it actually climbed before the half and then it started reading the temperature uh, to me, letting me know. But I barely went just over half. And uh, then what happened was the turbo started to, uh, it seemed as if the turbo wasn't working as good. But uh, nah, I just let it cool down. Uh, you know, I laid off the gas. I just slowed down, and everything went back to normal. So I called, went, went into the, called the dealership, took it in. They said, "Hey, man, yeah, it's no problem. Just don't, you know, floor it when you're pulling a trailer in the middle of summer going up a hill." But for the most part, yeah, I get this truck, guys. All right, I'll talk to you later.